Hi, welcome to WMD, that's Woody's Modelling Diary. And uh, today we've got a 135th Dragon Tiger 1 tank, um, which featured in a video I did a few weeks ago about how to avoid losing small parts off sprues uh, when you're cutting them and them disappearing off into the carpet. The kit's obviously progressed from where it was, um, mainly finished now. It's in its base dark yellow colour, awaiting the application of some brown and green for the camouflage. Um, I've tended to divide this build into two parts. So there's the top part, which is obviously still awaiting its um, paint and other details, and the bottom part. And the bottom part, I've obviously weathered the wheels with some brown and black washes to highlight the um, bolts and various other nooks and crannies in them. And I've also done the underside with some um, acrylic mud, weathering powders, airbrush, just to give that impression of caked on mud picked up during the course of its adventures over the battlefield. Um, the mud is this product from MIG, which is acrylic mud for dioramas. It's a sort of gritty paste which you just apply and um, it does give you a very good impression of mud which has been thrown up and caked onto a surface. Now, I've got to make the point, I'm not an experienced armoured fighting vehicle modeller. I've been doing this for probably about 20 years, but there are far better modellers out there who will be able to tell you how to go into intimate detail on creating absolute realism in your models. I tend to go for something a little bit more than just a straight paint job, but not quite as far as um, some of the detailing that other people go to. Much as I admire them, I just don't have the patience and time to um, spend on the details that they go into. But I do like to try and get at least a few uh, things um, a little bit different so it does look realistic from a distance. And one of the things with um, tanks is you think they're going to be very sort of caked up in mud and um, rust. But there are metal to metal surfaces and on these Tiger tanks for example the wheels themselves were actually metal tired and where they ran on the tracks themselves you would get a sort of semi-polished surface. So we've got a plain track which has just been sprayed up in a sort of track type rusty colour and next to it if I just put this other track you can see where I've tried to indicate that there's a sort of polished metal surface and again with this drive wheel you can see that's the one probably is a better one where I've again tried to indicate that there's a polished surface and if I turn that one round you probably see that it's not quite as polished. Um, how do I do this? Uh, well actually it's if you'll excuse me as I've dropped the paintbrush I actually use MIG gunmetal grey um, pigments and all I do basically is just pour a little bit out into uh, the top, use a small brush and just gently apply and you want to make sure that you sort of get into the nooks and crannies as well. And you can see you get that sort of indication of a polished surface. You could try dry brushing, but I tend to find that paint itself isn't quite as subtle as these powders. And you can make it even more subtle if you want by just using a cotton bud and just rubbing it. That one's probably worn out a little bit. But it just spreads the powder out and gives you a very subtle effect there and the same with the tracks I tend to just take that one out of the way I tend to just quite literally use a small brush there and it's a very sort of gentle process 
and you can then just use the cotton bud and that gives you that sort of polished surface and again with the wheels themselves I've got to go through all the wheels they are just loosely mounted but you can see this one's been uh, applied with grey gunmetal grey and uh, we just put a little bit on there See, it just gives that subtle polished effect. As I say, I'm not a great military modeler. There are far better people out there than me, and you may be cringing at what I'm doing. But for some of you, if you're new to um, building kits, I hope this is a handy hint for you. And it's just worth remembering that tanks, vehicles, they do have surfaces where the metal gets exposed and it doesn't go rusty um, things like uh, steps and grab handles there are other things where this technique can be used just to give that indication of um, clean metal anyway I um, hope that's been of use um, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again take care of yourselves bye